Five real estate prospecting ideas that aren't overly salesy. Looking for new lead prospecting ideas? The best real estate agents have the perfect salesmanship skills. They're effective without being too pushy or overly salesy. These five ideas will help you find new leads and successfully turn them into clients by relying on soft skills, which can make you appear more authentic and approachable. This is Nathan Clark with Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty here in Rhode Island. In this video, I'll share with you tips to help you prospect for leads without coming across too salesy. If you're a real estate agent and would like to make $100,000 or more net income guaranteed or pay you the difference, check us out at sellmorehomesnow.info and don't forget to like and subscribe below. Let's get started. So engaging in direct mail marketing is one of the best returns on investments that I've ever learned. Uh, direct mail marketing is an opportunity to help people know your name, face, and what you do for a living right in their mailbox. But it's only effective when you do it consistently. Sending a single just listed postcard won't do it. So create a campaign and stick to it every month. This will help you keep your top of mind with people in your community. And just make sure you do it over and over again. Next is host open houses and offer resources for the visitors. Yeah, I go to a lot of open houses out there, and it's a great way to showcase the resources that you have. But many agents just don't really offer anything. They just say, hey, come on in, take a look around. Uh, this is a great opportunity when you meet someone to offer a free comparable market analysis report to show them what their home would be worth or show them a list of houses for sale in the area, what they've sold for. Just educate. This will demonstrate your skills as an agent and as well as weed out the potential leads who aren't really serious about selling their home. Open houses can also be a great resource for buyer leads. Give them a good reason to give you a con their contact info. You know, a lot of people just ask for it and they find out they get fake numbers out there. Like a list of all the homes out there on the market, as I said before, a home buyer's guide, uh, things to watch out for when buying your property. Uh, those are all great resources that you can give out and you can find those, a lot of the free reports on uh, NAR's website. Number three, be active in Facebook community pages. Many neighborhoods or communities today have a Facebook group to keep people connected. These groups are perfect opportunities for you to showcase your services without selling. You can do this by helping out someone who needs a recommendation for a vet, doctor, restaurant, what time the dump closes, I don't know. Uh, by taking part in the community events, uh, you can find out what you need, uh, what they need, and you can also look like the expert out there. The next idea is consider partnering with parent groups of your local schools. This is huge. They're always looking for help. It's considering partnering with a PTA. Uh, the group at your school, uh, especially elementary schools, always need help out there. Find out if your schools in the area have homework folders or daily student activity planners that get sent. Uh, they a lot of times send those out in the fall and see if you can sponsor these items. Uh, it's a great opportunity to put your brand in front of the parents that will look at it daily. Uh, providing educational opportunities for the community. Got any questions? If you want more tips or more information on joining my team of professionals, feel free to give me a call at 401-288-3557 or visit sellmorehomesnow.info. I'm Nathan Clark, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.